there, boys and girls. In honor of Read Across American Day and Dr. Seuss's birthday, I am going to read a story to you. Um, I'm not reading a Dr. Seuss book, but I thought I would kind of honor his coolness and awesomeness by wearing the lovely hat and the big bow tie. I tried wearing the gloves, but I can't turn the pages reading the gloves. So here we go. This is one of my all time favorite books by Eric Carle. It is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I also have The Very, or The Grouchy Ladybug, which was one of my many, many favorites. But this one is the absolute favorite. So I'm going to read that to you. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, this warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Guess what day is next? Yep. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. Blah, way too much food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. That's because that's what they're supposed to eat. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that pretty? The end. Again, one of my absolute favorites. And if you get a chance when you go to the library, I want you to look for some more Eric Carl books. Like I said, The Grouchy Ladybug is an incredible story. Love that one. You've got The Very Quiet Cricket. Um, all kinds of awesome Eric Carl books. So I hope you enjoyed it. Happy birthday to Dr. Seuss and happy Read Across America Day. Have a super day, boys and girls. Bye-bye.